Hi everyone. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to create a hole and put one of these um, panel switch or DC power panels um, for a um, solar box, power box. Um, so this right here is an ammo can that I got at Harbor Freight. They go on sale usually. Uh, they're not that expensive. And what I want to do is I want to demonstrate how to cut a hole um, with some tools and uh, get a sense of you know how to do something like this. There's different ways um, to do it. Um, these uh, panels, these uh, come in different things like this one's a switch. Um, sometimes you'll see them as USB. Um, this one's USB-C by the way. Sometimes, and this one has also a display that will show how much power you have on the battery and such. Um, sometimes even uh, they come in other like for power, uh, Anderson power poles. This one is uh, from eBay and uh, then you can put some screws on. Um, in particular you can use something where it's a nylon um, screw which is of course non-conductive and uh, over here you um, for example for these type of screws the size is number 4 dash 40 times this one's a half an inch so that gives you the sense of the type of thread uh, that it has and it's kind of flush very very hard to see but it, it is flushed to the panel but, um, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of things out there that you can use. Um, this one, for example, is to make the surface nice and smooth so you won't see this jaggedy circle. Uh, it has a notch because sometimes some of these have like a plastic um, cover over them. So when you unscrew these... put it on it's more flushed to the um, in this case the ammo can and then you can use this to screw it there and that will tighten um, and, and be flushed to the wall of the plastic so that it can stay still. In this case, um, I'm going to put a hole over here somewhere uh, to put this switch. And the switch comes with um, a nut so that can, you can tie it on the back. And it has two pieces here. This is great as a template. And I can, I'm going to use this to draw a circle and then drill a hole. Um, you don't have to use this. Um, that just makes it look different. Um, with, with screws on it to secure it, which looks pretty cool. Or you can just leave it without the surrounding plastic. Looks maybe a little bit cleaner. The only thing is with the screws on the side, most likely it'll hold the button a little bit better. So what I want to do is I'm going to draw, I'm going to use this template and I'm going to draw a circle. Cool thing here, it, this is an inch, um, an inch and one eighth. Um, and then we'll talk about what things you can use to um, drill a hole. So um, this one I didn't do it all the way flushed. I didn't want to go all the way in the end. I, I, I pressed it down, pushed it down a little bit. So, I'm just going to eyeball it. It's not going to be super great. Um, but it's going to be good enough for government work. Okay. Uh, probably there. Close enough. Okay. 
And I'm going to use a pencil, and you can use a marker if you want. My pencil is a little easier. You can barely see the mark. Uh, you can sort of see the mark right there. Very lightly, but you can see it. All right. So now I need to know where the center is, and that's going to take a little while. I know it's one inch and an eighth. So here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to align the um, inch mark here. And then I'm going to see where an eighth is. Yeah, right here, see? That almost touches an eighth. And maybe you won't see it on the screen as much. But that's sort of halfway. <laughs> um, and then another inch and one eighth. I'll see if I can find it here. And of course, you don't have to do this. You could probably eyeball it. And looking at this, and it's really hard to see, it's not that even. Um, let's see, let's do that again. You can. Probably lower it down a little more. Yeah, maybe down here. That always happens. Okay, maybe there. And like I said before, the cool thing about pencil is that you can erase it. Ah, that looks better. The next thing we want to do is take out the, uh, the drill. And drill a tiny hole for the guide for my step drill or drill bit I always use reverse to reverse the process you don't have to and you really can't see that hole on video but there is a tiny hole and what I'm going to do is and that one's about an eighth of an inch. This one, this is three thirty seconds of an inch. Drill the hole a little bit bigger. And why? Why do I do that? It gives a guide for the other bit that I'm going to use. Okay, so it's looking okay. All right, so I got these step bits. Um, and I need the one that's for at least an inch and an eighth. Uh, as I go into the plastic, it's just going to drill um, a hole. Um, now, I could use something smaller. Actually, I know this will work because this is not exactly one. This one's not exactly one and one eighth of an inch. Um, this one goes up to seven eighths actually, but it's always good to do a pre-hole. That's awesome. It does a beautiful hole. So I'm going to take the other one. I just wanted to show you that if you go all the way through, it's going to be really nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way. So, an eighth and an inch, it tells you right here somewhere on this. Here. It tells you somewhere here. You won't be able to read that, but then what I'm doing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill very slowly. You don't want to go all the way in, because then you'll make the hole too big. And you just have to be patient. Seems like reversing it 
Let's clean it up a little bit. Almost there. Let's keep going. It's hard to feel the steps on this. I'm taking a little plastic off here. We're getting there. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. That's really nice. Yeah, just some a little bit of plastic, just a tiny bit. It's nice and stiff, which is good, because it gives you more friction. And you can get rid of this, this little piece right here as well. I like this extra plastic that you see right there. You can get rid of that or you can keep it. But now, you can do both. You can have this here. Drill some holes right there, and then place uh, your screw if you want. You can use these types of screws, um, or just leave it flush. I think I'm going to leave it flush. I think that looks much nicer. And then I can use... I can find it. The nut, make sure it's nice and straight. You gotta give this a good tight, hand tight, of course. There you go. That's not going anywhere. Very nice. Okay, and I'll see you later. This is Frank KN6 BST. I hope that was informative. And this is Frank, Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.